All right, we're given some information here about the mean land and buildings, acres per acre, and assembly farms is $1,700, the mean value of land, with a standard deviation of $100 says the data has a bell-shaped distribution. So why not draw a picture? Draw a picture. Draw a bell-shaped. Kind of bell-shaped, huh? And right down the middle is my mean. And it says it has a standard deviation of $100. It says assume the number of farms. So my sample size is 77. I uh, use the empirical rule. What is the empirical rule? Remember the empirical rule says 68% of your data is within one standard deviation of the mean. So below, if the standard deviation is 100, then that would be what, 1600? 1700 minus 100? And then if I add 100, that would be 1800. Well, that's not what I want. I want between 1,500 and 1,900. So let's go two standard deviations. The empirical rule said if you are two standard deviations, that's 95% of the data. That is a rule that you need to know, the empirical rule, okay, 95%. So two standard deviations would be 1,700 minus 2 times 100, which would be 1,500. And then 1,700 plus 2 times a 100, which would be 1,900. Usually you will see me write things like this, like 68% is the mean minus 1 standard deviation and the mean plus 1 standard deviation, and that's where I'm getting the 1600 and the 1800, and then 95% is the mean minus two standard deviations, and the mean, I think I'm missing a zero there, the mean plus two standard deviations, and that's where I'm getting my 1500 and my 1900. So that says 95% of the data is within two standard deviations. So it says use the empirical rule to estimate the number of farms. Well, 95% out of the number of farms, 95% times 77, would be rounded about 73 farms. All right, now let's get a different color right here. And then it says if 22 additional farms are sampled, so 22 more farms, how many of these additional? Well, it'd still be 95% of those. So if you multiply that out, you get 20.9 or about 21. Uh-oh, but this rule, empirical rule, is very, very important, you understand. If we continued with the empirical rule, we could actually do three standard deviations. So that's to complete, oh, that's to complete the empirical rule. Three standard deviations is 99.7% of our data. So that'd be 1,700 minus 3 times 100, and 1,700 plus 3 times 100. So you could see that would give us, I don't really have a place to write it, 1,400 and 2,000. Learn that empirical rule. Very, very, very important rule.